welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a doily uh, bag. So um, in my previous video for Christmas doily book, um, I'll leave a link down below for that video and I'll insert a picture of the bag that we're going to make out of a doily. And um, I just want to um, show you how to do this. So you can take any kind of um, old doily or a new doily, or you can even crochet a doily. I used to crochet and I haven't crocheted in a long time, so I'm gonna have to make some soon. But um, this one measures um, about 12 and a half, so I'm sure it's the same all the way around. So this one's a pretty big one, and the holes are pretty big, so it'll be pretty simple to put together. Now, um, also, for this bag, this doily bag, you can use any kind of doily, big or small. Um, round would be better, but you know, you just have to play around with different doilies that you have. So, and I have this one. This one would be a beautiful bag because when you close it up, you wouldn't even have to put anything at the top because it would have this for the top. And you could put your ribbon here and here and then close on each side. And it would be so beautiful with this doily. So just play around with your doilies and um, and uh, make a doily bag to hold your doily book. They're just pretty to hang around in your craft room and they're just beautiful to look at too. So let's get started. So this uh, ribbon here is an eighth um, size. So let's see, uh, this is uh, this ribbon, uh, yeah, eighth. Uh huh. I'll leave a link down below for this website so you could pick up the same ribbon. So you want to get this size. You could play around with different size ribbon. So this is what we're going to do. Make sure that your ribbon is long enough and you want two of them because we're going to put one on each side. So um, let's see, you're going to need a safety pin and you'll want to start on this side first or this side first, either side is fine. And um, let's uh, use a safety pin and we're going to put, well, to make it a little extra stronger, I'm gonna fold it down and put it through the ribbon right here. And you'll want to start, let's see. So this is the inside of the doily bag, that's the outside, so the inside, you want to make it even. This will make it easier right here. So I'm going to start this one and you want to start on the outside. Don't start at the very top because we're going to sew something there. Okay. So, and I don't want to start on the second hole. I'm going to start well, actually the second big one. So you want to come in from the outside. Okay. So we're going to come in from the outside and don't pull all the way through. And then we're going to skip one, two, on the third hole. So then we're going to come back in this way. It's almost just like a running stitch. But this is, uh, so on the third one. So one, two, third one right here. So then we're going to come in. One, two, three, and then out. And go all the way around the bag, okay? One, two, three. You want to come in and keep it even. Can you see that? So count one, two, three on the third one. We're going to go in and do this all the way around the bag. Okay, so in and out, just like a cross stitch. In and out, one, two, three. Okay, so you kind of get that. just a fun way to store your doily books or anything really you could even use this for a gift bag or just a purse one two three okay so I'm gonna finish this and be right back okay I'm back and I finished all the way around so let me open it back up for you. 
So I finished the first ribbon and you want to come back where you started from, okay? Let me see. So then I just want to leave it like this, okay? And um, let's open this back up. So everything stays perfect. And then you want to take it to make the ribbon even. So now we're going to clip both ends to keep them together. A lot of traffic today. And in this back room, you can hear it pretty pretty good. Okay, so there we go. All right, now we're going to start the other side of the ribbon. Okay. So on this one, You want to do the same thing and you want to start on the opposite side okay so over here and remember you have to start on the opposite end and don't worry about the other ribbon so we want to come a hole down from that so we're gonna oh we got to start from the outside remember because you want your drawstring on the outside. And again, so I put it in there on the third hole and we're going to count again, one, two, three, and we're going to do in and out again, just like cross stitching and do the same thing. Okay. Oh, I've already messed up. See what I did? Okay, so you want to go in and out doing the same thing okay so I'm gonna finish up this bag and be right back okay so I'm back and I'm getting close to the end and um, I flipped the ribbon because I couldn't do it left-handed <laughs> so I'm almost done so remember it's just like a cross stitch and I'm right below the other ribbon. And I'm going in and out. And it's pretty simple. There's no sewing here. Except I went down the wrong hole, but it's okay. I'll have to go back and fix that real fast. <laughs> Don't worry about the other ribbon. We'll pull it tighter here in just a second. So you want to go back to where you started from. So here's the where we started from. So we went all the way around the bag. So I'm going to have to go out right here where we started from. So here's one side. So here's where we started from and ended up at on that side. And here is this side. So we started over here and then we ended up back here. Okay, with the same ribbon. Same, same side, same ribbon. So now you want to pull this to make sure it's even and bring it together this one that we just did okay I 
actually, before we even do that, let's um, go ahead and put our little um, charms on the ends here. So all we're going to do is just tie it in a knot. Oops. There we go. And sorry about the loud traffic. I, I'm in the back room here and it's just so loud. I try to do videos on a Sunday where it's a lot quieter around here, but I live out in the country, but this road is very loud for some reason. I guess it's all the country tracks. <laughs> okay, so we tied these on the ends. So then we're gonna pull it together and we've made our bag, right? <laughs> so we've made our drawstring bag. I hope that that tutorial helped you. Now, another thing we can do is you could, um, I'm not gonna sew this, but you could also put this at the bottom and sew it to the bottom of the bag. So this tassel right here is beautiful. I don't know where I got that tassel, but I'll try and find one just like it and link it down below. And um, probably Hobby Lobby. And my other bag I sewed at the top um, of feather boa to make it look Christmassy. And all you have to do there is um, just sew over and under, over and under, all the way around at the top. So you want to take it to the top right here. And you want to bring your thread through the hole and then over like this and then re-fluff up your feather. And that would be your feather boa on the top. Or you could use lace. Or you could just leave it like this. I just think this is cute the way it is. So I will be um, making me another one. I think that would be fun. But um, I hope that you enjoyed this um, doily uh, bag tutorial. And if you have any questions, you can um, leave a comment down below. But I hope that you have a lovely day. And I will talk to you soon. God bless you all. See you soon. Bye.